Hello and welcome back to R8 Reviews. I hope that you are all well. Welcome back. Firstly, before we begin, begin, I just want to explain. You may have noticed that I haven't been online, haven't been on YouTube, haven't been doing no reviews, um, and I haven't posted a lot. And I just wanted to share with you really what the reason was behind that. I was going for a small operation and I physically was unable to do any filming or product reviews. So I just wanted to kind of keep you updated, let you know what's been happening. I am recovering, still recovering at the moment, um, but I'm doing well. Um, but I haven't been able to get anything to do a review on. So I did want to give you something. So this is what I've come up with. So before I went in for my operation, it was my cousin's birthday. And we wanted to get a train to Brighton. They wanted to go Brighton for celebration, bless them, which was amazing. Uh, but as you know, I'm disabled and I'm unable to do a lot of walking because of pain, uh, because of my illnesses. So for me, um, and I'm sure you guys find this as well, I found it uh, quite worrying and a bit I got a bit anxious I'm not gonna lie I did I really did and I was thinking about you know how am I actually going to manage this am I going to be able to manage this and I haven't been on a train for years and years so what I did was I contacted the train station and said look I need to know if you can take a mobility scooter onto a train because I'm sure you can but I wasn't 100% sure and the best way to find out is to phone them up and ask isn't it so I phoned them up and said that and they're like yes you can and they they also do a little booklet here I don't know if you guys can see this um, but I will be posting it down below it's um, making railway accessible this book has a lot of information in that I didn't even know about. Um, so basically, I found, right, so also I've asked about scooter, they said yeah, it's got to be certain sizes which uh, are in the booklet and on their websites, which I will leave all the links down below so you can check it out for yourselves. Yeah, so as long as it's certain size and it fits their criteria, you're absolutely fine. Same as wheelchairs, etc. So I went to the Little Hampton Shop Mobility and hired a scooter for the day. And we went to the train station. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was absolutely pooing my pants. Because one, I haven't been trained on years. Two, I get really anxious about going to places that I don't visit regularly anyway. And um, four, it's going on a train with a mobility scooter and it was I was really concerned about how I was getting the scooter on the train. I knew it'd be rounds, but would they feel uneasy? Would it be rattly? Would you be able to see the gap? And you know what? Their staff on, on the day that I went were bloody amazing, excuse me. But they were amazing. They were really good, really patient, really friendly. So once I arrived and obviously they saw the scooter, they let the train guys know, I don't know their names, I'm sorry. Um, and they get uh, they get the ramps ready and they ask you to follow them and they take you on the part where it's uh, accessible for disabled people and they put the ramp down. Once you're on the train, they help you turn around if you need to. They guide you on the ramp if you need to. And then what they do is they radio through to whatever station that you're going to next and uh, to let them know that you're on your way they get the ramps ready and when you pull up they're there waiting amazing absolutely amazing and i do this to each stop until you get to the right place once you get to your destination if you're worried about where to go just ask them they point you in the right direction one of them even walked us to where we had to go to show us how to get out etc 
and I, I have to say my experience on the train was really really good to the point I would feel comfortable about doing it again and I just really wanted to share this with you because I can't be the only one who's afraid or worried or overthinks things and thinks well if I'm doing that how am I going to do that how am I going to do this um, so this is one of the reasons why I wanted to share this with you it's friendly relax they don't put you down at all they're really supportive any questions they'll answer and they'll help you as much as they can all you've got to do is ask and on the way back we, we did not have a clue what train we needed to get to get home again we're like look really sorry but where do we go what do we do da, 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 da. Oh, it's absolutely fine follow me and then we followed them they got the run through ready and they stayed with us till the train came they didn't even leave us they had 15 20 minutes they didn't leave us they're lovely i can't i can't say anything bad about it so yeah i really wanted to share this with you and i'd love to know your experiences i mean obviously this is the first time i've been on training years and it was a really positive um experience i have to say if it was a negative one i'd probably never get on the train again not with a scooter, but it wasn't, it was brilliant. Um, they they couldn't do enough to help you, which I really, really liked. Yeah, so I really wanted to share this information with you um, and I'd love to know your feedback. How How is your experience on a train with, whether it's wheelchair, whether um, it's a mobility scooter, if you're hard of hearing, you know, there's obviously more disabilities than, um how to use scooters wheelchairs etc there's hearing sound vision and i'd love to hear your experience and what your feedback's like so yeah today's ra reviews is that going on a train by mobility scooter so it's not nothing i can really show you but it is something that i can share with you and i hope you enjoyed it i'm sorry it's a little short but it is something and like I said I really like to hear your feedback and your experiences what's it like in your area is it the same is it similar do you offer more or less um, and like I said I'll leave the links down below for this uh, this is what I got given uh, making rail accessible um, and it, it shares what stations you can go on uh, what happens when you put your ticket etc uh, quite interesting so I will leave this for you guys to check it out and obviously the links to the local railways that we're in there if you've only just joined us and would like to help support the channel please subscribe that will really help support what we're doing um, I don't make no money on this um, it's all based on my own opinion and experience my own experience nothing more nothing less i'm not paid to advertise or nothing like that i'm literally i'm doing this to help others like myself feel more confident about visiting places and trying new things and sharing interviews to spread awareness of different illnesses so you know if you've got any ideas of somewhere you'd like to go and you'd like me to check it out as long as i'm able to get there i will do that so leave a um leave a comment down below or email me or leave all my social media uh, links down below and my email address so you can contact me and let me know if you'd like to do an interview with me again feel free to contact me and we can discuss a way of doing that that'd be really cool to do that i'm looking for more people with different illnesses of course and it'd be nice to help spread awareness you know it needs to get out there it needs to be shared and more people need to know about it okay thank you so much for joining me today sorry it's not very long and it's not too interesting but it is something and i just want to say hello and i'm back and i'm well and uh, i look forward to releasing more stuff lots of love take care bye for now and don't forget to subscribe Oi!